Plantain chips is one of my favorite snacks. So today I'm going to share three easy ways that you can make plantain chips. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to another interesting video. To make plantain chips, you need plantain to make plantain chips. This is not banana, this is a senior brother to banana. <laughs> to make plantain chips, you need unripe plantain or you can also use semi-ripe plantain as much as i love plantain chips i don't like peeling unripe plantain and i don't know why peeling unripe plantains to me is like asking a new bride on her wedding day with her expensive acrylic nails to peel plantain wearing her wedding gown <laughs> is that possible <laughs> once i'm done peeling the plantain this is what you should have Another important thing to consider is not to penetrate the knife so deeply while peeling the plantain. It will affect the plantain while cutting. It is ready at this point. Now it is time to cut. Do you have this at home? You can do wonders with this mana hand slicer. Or what do you call this? <laughs> Now we start with the first one. We are going to cut in a round shape just like so. Do this as fast as possible you can. Thank you so much for watching today's video. To my returning subscribers, I appreciate you all. If you are new here or a warm welcome to you, please subscribe to my channel. Also like and share this video with your loved ones. Alright, once I'm done cutting with the manual slicer, you can also cut in a round shape with a knife. Make sure that the knife is very sharp. Also consider your fingers while doing this. Alright, now we have a round perfect shape. Set that aside, we'll move to the next one. Now the next one is to use a pillar. Do you have a pillar in your kitchen? You can make a plantain chips with your pillar. Just cut as demonstrated on the video. Now, to make this design, you need to cut and separate it immediately. I did not separate it immediately. Look what happened. Once you cut with the pillar, separate it immediately. Don't put them together. Don't do this that I just did here. No, don't do it. You may find it difficult to separate it. But I love this part, this pieces. That's the part that I love so much. <laughs> the next one is to cut the plantain into two equal parts and slice with a knife. Please be careful while doing this, all right? You can slice as tiny as possible you can. Do you hear me? As tiny as possible you can. Now we'll go back to the manual slicer. We are going to make use of this designer part, all right? Use it to cut the plantain just like I'm doing right now. Shout out to you, Precious from Abuja, Gladys from Abia, Helene from Ogun State, Messi Iroka from Nasarawa State, Esther Udo from Calabar, Mandalina Mayanga from Kenya, Benedicta from Ghana, and Hilda from Cape Town. Oops. Oh, I'm glad you all love the recipe. Please let me know where you're watching from so I can give you a shout out in my next video. Apologies if I don't pronounce your name very well. Now, this is what we have. The design we got from the last one. It is time to fry. First, I'm going to drop one bulb of onion into the hot oil to release that aroma. Next, I will add half teaspoon of salt. This does not require too much salt, all right? Now I go in with the first design. Once I add it, I flip it around and allow to cook for about 30 seconds. If you watch upon this minute, I appreciate you. It also means that you're enjoying this video. Please give this video a like. You see that like button? It is telling you stop protecting me. Make use of me so that the world will be aware that I exist. <laughs> Make use of that like button right now. Also smash that subscribe button. Let's be family. Thank you so much. Once they are crispy like so, it is ready. Take the designer family out of the hot oil. Put in a strainer to drain out the excess oil. Pray in an open tray to cool down completely. We we'll move to the round family. Gently throw them into the hot oil just like we did to the designer family. 
once you add into the hot oil spread them around to be in separate form this is very very important after about 30 seconds flip it around for the second time again this time the aroma in my kitchen i am enjoying it because of the onion right 30 seconds later it is ready at this point as you can see on the video gently take them out of the hot oil put in a strainer to drain out the excess oil we will repeat the same with the long family gently throw them into the hot oil as demonstrated on the video now for the long family i will not advise you to spray them around when they are almost dry already okay once you add it spray it around immediately if you spray it around when they are almost dry already they may break into pieces remember this is very very light all right once they are ready take them out of the hot oil as well spray in an open tray i will use the round family to demonstrate and allow to cool down completely the more it cools down the crunchier it becomes everything is ready serve and enjoy the round family the designer family and the long family are they crunchy let's find out mm they are crunchy right you can hear my keys talking at the background <laughs> so but i'm trying as much as i can to show you what it looks like go ahead and enjoy plantain chips business is very very lucrative you can start a business with this plantain chips you can package in a jar wrap it up in a plastic bag like so once you wrap it up this does not require air anymore so make sure it is airtight always remember that if anybody can you can as well i wish you all the best thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel also like and share this video with your loved ones and i will see you all in my next video bye